In this lecture, I will explain you how you can create the first test in WebDriver I will explain you how you can write the test in sync and async modes. I will also explain you how you can execute the tests, debug the tests and write the comments. So first of all, let us create the test. It is recommended to put the tests in uh, this directory slash test slash specs. So let us create that directory structure. To create the directory, just click on this one and then create this test directory. In the test directory, we are going to create another folder that is specs. And within that, we can put our test file. So this is the button to create the test file. So this is our first test and then .js extension. JS stands for JavaScript. So in here, I'm gonna write this statement, require assert. So basically this statement, what it is doing is, it is importing this model called as assert. This is required for asserting or assertions in our tests. Next thing that we are gonna do is, we are gonna use the syntax that is compatible with Mocha testing framework because we are using Mocha testing framework under the hood. So in Mocha testing framework, we have one function called as described and here we can put say feature. First feature we can call it and there is callback for this function. This is the arrow syntax to create a new function and this is the function body. So in here we can have multiple tests. So first we are going to write async test and then we are going to write sync test. So to write the test, this is the syntax. There is another function called as it. And you can see it says describes a specification or test case with the given callback. So in the first test, what we are going to do is we are going to open the website and check the title. So I'm going to put the check title. That is the test case. And this, this is the function that takes another callback. So this is the syntax to create a callback function and in here we can write our test so since it is async version we need to put their async keyword and then await browser dot url browser.url and there you can give our website name https soft post books dot app dot com and then we are going to check the title scroll to Wait. Browser dot get title. And here we're gonna do the assertion. Set equal title should be this one. Swap post books. So this is the simple uh, test case. What we are going to do, we are doing in this test is just visiting this website and then checking the title is matching with this one. Since this is the async version, we need to put the async keyword there and then await keywords as well for each browser command. So our first test is ready. To execute this test, what you need to do is, you need to execute this command called as npx wdio and then config file. 
Our config file is wdio.conf.js. To execute this test, you can use this command npx wdio and then configuration file. So this is our configuration file. And that is what we have written here. Then hit enter. By default, web driver IO will launch Firefox and execute the tests. All we are doing in this particular test is that we are visiting this website and checking that the title is matching with soft post book, soft post books. And as you can see, the test has passed. So this is the async version of the test. Now to convert this async test into sync test, what we have to do is we have to just remove this async keyword and also remove this await keywords as well. And that's the reason I like writing the test in sync mode because I don't need to write this await for all the browser commands or the element commands and also I don't need to write the async in front of all the tests functions callback functions so this this code looks much easier to read even though it is using promises in the background so let us execute this test I'm gonna skip this test async test so just put X there and then that test will be ignored and this is the sync version of this test test so I'm just gonna execute it now Again, same thing will happen. Only the syntax wise, it is a little bit different. Otherwise, all the operations are same. That's it. Our first test is up and running. And uh, that's it in this video. In the next one, I'll tell you how you can debug the tests. Thanks for watching this video.